uweze kukaa kwa maisha mzuri kwa kawa, kwa wakati huo. Coffee production was becoming to be had some years back because I was a monocropper. The fertilizers also was becoming expensive and this being imported. So kawa haikuwa inasaidia peke yake kudumisha maisha yako ama kutegemea utegemee na kuchukua pia watoto kwenda shule imekuwa ngumu. Muise social enterprise. Our mission is to have a fair sharing of the value within the supply chain of coffee. In order to scale up you need to partner up. And this is what we did here. Kenya used to have good agricultural systems. However, these have become weak. A lot of chemicals are being used, and these chemicals are affecting the climate. We want to lower the carbon footprint in the production of coffee. A big element in that is replacing chemical fertilizers by biocompost, which we are sourcing locally. Najua wakatule, sikuwa najua jinsi ya kuchunga mchanga. Ile, Sisi kuwa nimeona terera ikimea hapo hata kama managu wakuna. Lakini saai, ia ogane, ina mea peke hake. We are training 7,200 farmers on regenerative agriculture, which is making agriculture and farming business more resilient to climate change. Ukiwa na mimea tafauti tafauti, unapo ngojea kawa, Unaitumia pesa ya hii mimea ingine na itakuwa pia imekuwa chakula katika ndani ya familia. Kwa kawa tukuna ndizi, avocados, pia kuna maragwa. The normal business setup is the coffee takes around six months before the farmers are paid. But through Mwoyi they are able to get their pay within two weeks. We're working with Henry and Agritera directly. They are our boots on the ground. Here in Kenya, we keep 50% of the total value addition. We now roast and package our coffee here, and we can ship it to the international market. Naona kama maisha inabadili. Masao ni nyingi. Wakulima wanapata msukumo kubwa. Ilianza ilifika this year, na wakulima almost three quarter wame adapt this program. Naona kama nimeendelea, na nasikia na. Naona kama ninaenda mbele saidi.